So it's about 6.30 Sunday morning. Get ready to start this fitness challenge with my brother, brother-in-law. And uh, first thing I gotta do is take care of this stray cat that's been living in front of our house. Um, we named her Tiny. And she's adorable. She's microchipped. Somebody left her here about a month ago. And we've just been feeding her, watering her, making sure she's got what she needs. And we don't want to leave her hanging this morning. Get her some food. Rocket, you already got your food. Ready for some breakfast? Yeah? Yeah? Is that right? Catch anything? Any mice? She's bringing us some treats, bringing us some mice. Oh, you already got food. What are you meowing for? You got a whole bowl full of food here. So I'm out here mid walk and I just thought of something. I um, wonder if Facebook or YouTube or anybody out there is looking for a cute little cat because um, we have one living in front of our house like I said earlier and it's just been on my mind a lot lately because we we can't bring her into our home we already have two cats and we have our puppy Minnie and we got enough we're adjusting to and uh, it's nothing about tiny it's more about our two cats that we already have I don't know if the third wheel would would work out um, squish and rocket are already couple of weirdos as it is but um anyway so she's just been chilling in front of her house for like the last month and she's super nice and she actually brings us mice and all these little gifts all the time that we obviously don't want but um yeah I'm just worried about her getting ran over or going into the winter uh getting really cold and kind of miserable uh you know they can survive out there it's just if there was a nice, warm, clean, friendly home that wanted to take her in, I'd rather see that happen. Um, yeah, she's spayed and she is chipped. And the backstory on that is Kylie, my wife, um, she works in the vet industry. And anyway, so she followed up on the chip and we gave our phone number uh, and the, the company that oversees the microchip was going to pass it along to whoever the owner was. And we never heard back so two and two together on that is they somebody dumped her and you know it's just a bummer there's like zero accountability for people that dump off an animal and it's just it's just a bummer there's all kinds of dogs and cats that need need homes i'm sure there's lots of people that also want a dog and a cat and it's just why not just put in the effort to find a home for the animal instead of just dumping it off somewhere but anyways um, yeah, so if you know anybody or if you're interested, um, yeah, reach out and, you know, we have like a little bed for her, some food dishes. We'll even donate some food, um, to the cause. So anyways, think about it. If you know anybody, let me know.